Hi guys, I'm back with another video. And first of all, I'm not getting paid to say what I say and what I'm gonna say in this video. This is just me sharing my personal opinion. Today we're gonna compare these two cheap EMF meters that I bought from Amazon. They both cost between 20 and 30 bucks. On the left, we have the DT-1130. I couldn't find a brand name. And on the right, we have the K-Moon GM3120. And we're gonna start with the DT. So I'm gonna put this out of the way real quick. So here on top we have a LCD display. We have a power button, a data hold button, an alarm LED. It also has a alarm piezo. This button down here, it didn't come with this button. I added this because if you leave the battery in when you don't use it, it's constantly in standby and that sucks the life out of the battery. So I added this button to disconnect the positive lead coming from the uh, battery to extend the battery life. I'm also going to do this to this one. I haven't done it yet because I just got this. So yeah, on the back it has a stand, which I don't really use, but it's there. It runs on a standard 9 volt battery. is basically whichever value is on the screen uh, stays on the screen when you press the data hold button. It's like say um, you take a measurement at a specific spot and you want to walk away and write it down somewhere. You take the measurement, push the data hold button and take it to wherever you want to write down the value and um, yeah. You press it again, it goes back to normal. So let's turn it on. Oh. Here's the display showing zero, zero, zero. I have a power cord over here plugged into the wall. So this is what it does. That's the DT-1130. Now to the K-Moon GM3120. It has a larger LCD display. It has a alarm LED there. It also has a piezo power button. If you if it, when it's turned on and you press the power button again, the display lights up, which is a really nice feature. This button, uh, with this button you can switch between peak value mode and uh, standard mode where it just shows whatever you're measuring at the time. And this is again a data hold button and if you push it and hold it down it turns off the piezo or turns it back on. On the back it runs on a it's also on a standard 9 volt battery. It didn't say um, which lead is positive and which is negative, but I found out that the left lead is the positive and the right is the negative. So I put that in here with a marker. Put the battery back in. Turn it on forms a quick LCD test. So here we have the battery level shows the uh, that the piezo is on and here's the mode. Switch the mode, turn off the piezo, turn it back on. Up here it shows the volts per meter which is the electromagnetic field and down here it shows the magnetic the magnetic field. Here's the backlight. No, I turn it off. If you hold it down, it turns off. If you press it 
display backlight turns on. That's a nice feature, especially if you're dealing with uh, nighttime situations. Here's the power cord again. See, it picks up much faster. Now we're going to do a sensitivity test. So here we have both meters and there is the power cord laid out fairly straight and we're going to see which one picks up first. It already shows a value here where the DT doesn't show anything so let's go back a little further here get the value to zero and now we're gonna start pushing them towards the power cord you can see the K-Moon already picks up the electromagnetic field from the coming from the power cord. When on the right, the DT doesn't do anything. And there's an alarm on the K-Moon. And finally the DT starts to pick up. Okay, so that's that. Thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe and all that good stuff. And I see you in the next video. Bye.